Hi, this is Axel from Thunderbird Daily. So Thunderbird 68 has been released, the latest version of our mail application for 2019-2020. There was some trepidation on the side of add-on developers and users because of the ongoing discussions on getting rid of legacy add-ons. It turns out this year wasn't quite as bad as expected. To support the channel and the future of add-ons, you can buy a license for Smart Template Pro or Quick Folders Pro or Quick Filters. There's also a cheap Smart Template standard license for those who want only basic features. For companies, I also created a domain license option. Thankfully, there has been a lot of discussion and development on how to save this important functionality, at least for this time round. The Thunderbird development team came up with an ingenious method of wrapping a legacy add-on within a web extension script so that it can at least be installed. Then we, the add-on developers, could start to fix what would be broken by the update. There were numerous important changes this time round, many more than last year when Thunderbird 60 landed. This is mostly caused by the library Mozilla Central, which delivers the core functionality of the Firefox web browser and HTML viewer and which Thunderbird uses to display both emails and also its own user interface. Since Firefox already completely abandoned legacy add-ons last year, they didn't feel obliged to keep any of the technologies that these depended on. They would instead refer add-on developers to use other programming methods, many of which hadn't even been created. This is the reason why so many browser extensions were abandoned after Firefox 54 came out. In order to realistically add a new API to Firefox, the add-on developers would effectively also have to start engage in the programming of the app itself, which is a highly specialized skill, and much of it is in a different programming language. C++ instead of JavaScript. Luckily, the Thunderbird team and a bunch of interested people on the Thunderbird planning mailing list were a lot more proactive in creating and documenting viable workarounds. So in a nutshell, we were now able to convert many add-ons, smaller ones in a matter of days, larger ones took a few weeks to fix. I will link an article with a list of necessary compatibility changes for extensions in Thunderbird 68. Since I have started to work on Thunderbird extensions full-time for the past months, I was able to convert my main add-ons, Quick Folders, Quick Filters, Smart Template 4 and Zombie Keys to, which means a solid product for another 12 months. As I am making sure the extensions run in the last ESR version and the new one, the transition for my own users will be seamless. But one of the most crucial add-ons that I use every day is stationary. It supplies the ability to use external template files as stationary or form letters when replying to or writing emails. I had collaborated with its author, Arivald, before, but try as I might, I could not get a hold of him for the last eight months. I even tried converting stationary myself, but I had to give up because it was just too much of a time investment. Since my add-on Smart Template supports adding form fields within stationary, instead I decided to add the feature of loading these HTML files myself. The good news is that the UI is pretty much identical to stationary. You click a drop down on the reply button and select the template. So it is pretty much a single click operation which will load the template, can fill in the salutation, date and add proper quote headers and use premium functions such as searching through the body and subject of the quoted mail to retrieve data for the reply. Having all these functions in a specific reply for each different need saves me hours of work every week when doing support mail. Thus I am very keen to continue supporting this important function with the new Thunderbird without the stationary add-on. Here's a quick demo on how it works. If you haven't done so yet, install Smart Template 4 from thunderbird.net. I will leave a link in the description. After restart, you will see little drop-down arrows beside your right, reply and forward buttons. If you're used to stationary, you will already be familiar with them. By clicking the reply button normally, you will just reply with the account specific settings that you have configured in the existing per account settings of Smart Template. This just represents your default template for each identity. To reply with a pre written answer, use the drop down. When using for the first time, you can directly load a file from disk with the item Open File Template. This opens any local HTML file and that will be loaded in the body of your email. The file can contain all smart template variables such as from, the new date format function or a subject, just like you could do when working with stationary. But you can also add your HTML and old stationary files to the menu, which you can configure here. Open smart template settings and on the accounts drop down select the item 
template files. As usual, you have three flavors, write, reply and forward. Each has its own separate list. Use the folder button to open any HTML file from disk. You can then edit the menu title and click add. Once you close the Smart Template configuration window, the template has been added to the drop down on the Compose button. If you previously had stationary files set up, you can just add them to the three individual lists and keep on working as you're used to. This wasn't exactly an easy feature to implement, but I think it was well worth the weeks I worked on it. It's still fresh and it will likely be improved. As you may notice, Smart Template has now a paid standard license. Without this, we would neither have Smart Template in Thunderbird 68 nor any of these new features. Because it takes time and effort to program these, and my family cannot live off welfare, I had a few contentious reviews because of this step, which tried shaming me into giving away that work for free, but it's just not possible. The free as in beer route is what you have got with stationery and other such complex add-ons. They stop working. People cannot be expected to do difficult programming work for nothing forever. I myself have been working on Smart Template for for 7 years and on quick folders for now over 10 years and I haven't got time for another full-time job. I have seen many add-ons abandoned over this time and that's why I'm encouraging other add-on authors to also monetize their work. I know I could make a whole drama channel just on all the discussions on the fights we have about keeping the app compatible with add-ons and the criticism about wanting payment for hard work, but I think I'll leave this for another video. In the meantime, we have set up a bi-weekly meeting with add-on developers and Thunderbird core people to discuss how we will move forward. If you are an inspiring mail extension developer yourself, make sure to hit me up for details. If you want to support the channel and the future of add-ons, you can buy a license for Smart Template Pro or Quick Folders Pro or Quick Filters. There's also a cheap Smart Template standard license for those who want only basic features. For companies, I also created a domain license option. To find out the current prices, just click on the rightmost tab in the add-ons configuration window and click the Buy License button. This will show an overview window with options which will jump directly to the web shop. I usually do time-limited bargain offers when I release a new version number of my add-on, which you can see in the change log that I display on Update. So make sure you don't miss that. There are always new features that add more value and sometimes there's a video. You can find a download link for Thunderbird 68.0 in the description. If you are on Windows, maybe think about switching to a 64-bit version. 68.1 will be released in a few weeks and then current users of Thunderbird 60 will automatically be updated. Make sure to backup your mail profile in case you want to roll back. Thanks for watching my video. Please help my add-ons by getting a license and leave some comments below.